Welcome back, folks, to another episode. Before we jump into today's video, guys, a huge shout out to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. Right here, I've got a ginormous box filled with delicious meats that we're gonna quickly unbox. But if you guys want your own ButcherBox, it will be linked down below and for a limited time only. New members and new members only will get free ground beef for life. Two pounds of ground beef free in every single one of your box for the entire lifetime of your subscription if you are a new member. So what I got in mind is the classic. Look at these guys. We got ribeyes, my absolute favorite cut of meat. We've got ribeyes on ribeyes on more ribeyes. These ribeyes, we got more ribeyes. Wait, don't worry. We got more ribeyes. So I asked him, I said, load me up with some ribeyes. We got a bunch of delicious ribeyes, by far my favorite. And some though? new, new bacon, Crazy uncured, tasty. tender belly. Uh, they have mm. the best bacon. We've already said that before. It's so this, amazing. this is like, it looks differently, like seasoned a little bit. It, look, yeah. it looks good. Thick, so we're gonna have to try it. They also sent some of this, which is hickory smoked. Mm. So we got bacon on bacon, on bacon, on bacon on oh more bacon load up with bacon and then this is some ground beef right here so bunch of ground beef loaded up as well as you can see they loaded me up with a bunch of fresh farm raised meat shipped directly to my doorstep skip the lines don't walk through the store it ships directly to your house and you could pick your box so you can pick what kind of meats you want whether you want poultry whether you want pork whether you want uh beef whatever it might be so if you guys want it it will be linked down below if you guys want to go try it out like i said for new members only you get free shipping and you get free two pounds of ground beef in every single one of your boxes for the lifetime of your subscription if you sign up now for a limited time with that being said enjoy the rest of today's video Shoo! what's going on folks welcome back to a another episode starting the day off of course we got to feed these animals why is llama she's smiling you see that really? she got llama she got her teeth out yeah. llama look at them pearly whites llama hey llama show the folks at home look at that why are you cheesing buddy how you doing buddy come here ralph what you doing big guy yeah look at that mud ralph What's the strap? Look at that. What's that strap, buddy? I'm trying to, I thought about opening it up just to let them, they can't really graze. I mean, there's not good grass, but like, just to get them out of the mud a little bit. What do you think? You think it's a good idea or not? I mean, it, I don't I think it's it, It'll give you wait till it all like, all the snow melts and then let them up there. I mean, I don't think they're gonna eat that stuff anyways. No, they're not gonna eat so, it. So like, I was just thinking more or less, if Ralph wanted to go explore, he could go explore, I guess. Yeah. But it's just like, once it, it all just starts getting all nasty, it's just like, the more you could get the, I mean, I don't even know if they'd go up there. We could try it. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just try. I mean, there's no downside. So the only time you want to keep them down here is when it's super cold, which it's not anymore. It's like 50 degrees now. Um, we do have snow still because it's cloudy and it hasn't melted yet, but it, it will melt in the next couple days. But you really want to keep them confined down here to keep an eye on them in the winter. And then as well as you let the grass regrow. They've been off that grass for like three, four months now. And I don't I don't think they're going to eat. And if they eat the dead grass, they eat the dead grass. It's not like we would leave them out there for more than a day or so. So let's go ahead and give these guys some grain. We're going to open it up and see if they want to go walk around and explore and just get some get some fresh air even though i mean they're outside but you guys get the idea kind of explore some new areas um but we are going to be doing something special today which is working on the i don't even know what we called it at the time restoring some type of pontoon this was like a year or two ago and all you guys all you og guys know what i'm talking about and you're been as it was down at the farm we pulled it out of the pond we put it on a trailer and we went, we're gonna go fix it up and then we never fixed it up because there was a hole in the pontoon but we are bringing that project back today we're gonna head down to the farm and try to hopefully restore the pontoon into i don't know if we're gonna make it into a duck blind, a fishing rig, a, a, a combination. We're not a big floating party barge, okay? We're not really sure. But today's project is gonna head down to the farm and see what we can make happen with this pontoon. It's really muddy, it's slimy outside, so it's gonna be interesting because we gotta drag it all the way into the shop. Um, but Kai Dog called me and he's like, I wanna get this pontoon fixed up for spring. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. Lucy, what are you doing there, buddy? Oh, rip, that is a chicken leg. No. Yeah, rep. I was gonna say, how'd that get out? I only see one chicken. Wait, you do? Blondie. No, I saw I saw her last night. Yeah, I know you did. But uh, I haven't seen her oh today. No. I'm saying. Where did Lucy find that? I don't know, dude. But it doesn't make sense how Lucy could have a chicken leg. Like, drug, it drug it out. Yeah, oh, drug rip. it out. Oh rip. Oh rip. Oh rip. Keep your eyes peeled, boys. Where did she find the chicken leg? Oh no. Did we lose it? Dude, I literally came down here last night, 12 hours ago, and uh Princess Leia was alive. Now we're down to just a Blondie. Lucy, give me that chicken leg. Well, we might be down a chicken. We just realized the one that's missing, though, is the one she gets out. Well, let's just go check in the shed real quick. Hang on. We'll get, I, I don't think she... I, she ain't gonna die. She's a, she's a fierce one. She usually gets out, and she's she just... The only OG she's back. Yeah, she's the only OG chicken left, and she's the only chicken that every single day she gets out, and I know she gets out because I see her on all the trail cameras. She just rips her out. Carol, we're bringing your granny in a minute, buddy. So if she's not in here, then she definitely might be KO'd. Hey, chicken. <laughs> Rip. She might just be on her own grind now. She was an independent woman. She 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 just goes wherever she wants. 
There she might be dead. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go back. We're not sure. The chickens are just a lost cause. All the birds, any type of birds, of these geese are just an absolute lost cause at this point. They just, they keep getting KO'd. We didn't have a coop for them that works. We are going to restore that animal enclosure, the giant one there. And that's where we're going to put our birds. And we honestly should, we'll probably do it pretty quick. Within the next couple weeks, you guys will see us. We're going to fix it up. We're going to put paneling around it so that way no predators can actually get in and, uh, and then fill it back up with some birds and hopefully they don't get KO'd. What up? Jimothy, what are you doing there, buddy? You want some grain, buddy? He's big chilling. All right, well, let's go ahead and give, oh, we can give him, uh, where are those cooter sticks? Let's give him one of them. Let's give him one of those guys. He loves these things. Hey, you want a cooter stick? Oh, he's munched. There you go. You can give him some grain. He loves the old cooter stick. There you go, Jimothy. He's got water. Rick, you guys want some grain, buddy? Man, we might be down to one chicken. What do you think she's thinking right now? Which one? She's just a beast. The one, the one that that's alive, yeah. Yeah, we gotta eat her. Really? Yeah. I feel like she wouldn't taste that good. So Trapper Jason, when I asked, I said, why'd your chicken taste like I said that it's because they're just like, oh, they run around too running? much. Yeah, yeah, and they're, yeah, anyways. All right, let's feed these guys. What's he doing? Dale. Oh, oh God. Oh, hey, hey. Ralph, did, did you see that? The, the goose, goose was kinky. The Do you think that's who's killing him? You think that's possible? Can a goose kill a chicken? I mean, I guess it's possible. Because she just bit. That chicken. What if that's it? We got huh. guard geese, plot twist, they killed the freaking chickens. How about that? We gotta go in there and start messing with those geese. I think they've warmed up enough to like put up a fight, you know? Hey. There you go. They like that TikTok. Can I get a hoya? Oh, yeah. That was a weak hoya. Oh, that yeah. was terrible. Tiffany, you kind of look like that donkey that did that too. Smoke. There you go. All right, they're fed. Let's go harass these geese. Greg, come here, Greg. Greg, come here. Greg, come here, Greg. Come here, Greg. That's Greg right there. Greg. With the brown head. Greg, get him. Get Greg. <laughs> really? They, I mean, at least they talk a little bit. And we found, there you go, you got it. Look at Lucy. Lucy Miller freaking out. Get them, Lucy. See, we're getting them to chatter just a little bit. That's the idea. We gotta let them, you know, get warmed up. But we found that we found the chicken that we thought died. It's over here. Princess Leia, we thought you were KO'd, buddy. You're hanging out. So Wait, that's 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 what's left. They they made it through. They made it through the winter. They made it through the storm. I mean, the thing is, if they die now, then it's definitely predators. Because we can't decide: is it cold? Is it predators? Is it Ralph stepping on them? Is it the goose freaking biting them? No one really knows. But like I said, we're hopefully gonna do kind of like a good hard reset going into spring, button up that enclosure. That's where the birds will live. They'll thrive, they won't die, it'll be good. I like the idea free range chickens just booing, but they just keep getting KO'd, so it's not a good deal. So anyways, animals are taken care of. We're good to go, we are gonna head down to the farm now, try to find the pontoon, drag it to the shop. Kai Dog said he's gonna try welding it, which will be interesting, and then just try to game plan. What are we gonna do? We gotta replace the decking, the carpet, and then I need your guys' help as well. In the comment section down below, what do you want us to turn? Calm down. Is that the new Hennifer? Yeah. Really? Anyway, so we are going to go down, look at the pontoon, and then I need you guys to help to game plan what we should do with the pontoon. Should we turn it into a, a floating duck blind, a bass fishing march, bluegill dangle Ooh, platform? Yeah. You guys, the, the opportunities are limitless. We are going to completely customize it up to what you guys want. So with that being said, see you guys at the farm. Shoo! We made it down to the farm, folks. Look at, we got the old B&B &B sitting right over there. Look at the, the men's right now. But Kai Dog's in the old tractor. He's got the old deer fired up. This is the pontoon. If you guys are new, we basically recovered this pontoon from Kai Dog's pond. We tore out the decking of it, tore out all the caging on it. And today we got to take it in and try to weld it and fix the leaf, as well as just kind of prep the surface a little bit. And uh, and then we're going to try to build, I mean, it's, it's a big boy. We got to build a deck on it in some way, put some form of a, a motor on it, trolling motor or a gas motor, we're not sure, but we got some managers on chain duty. He's got the chains figured out. And then we've got the forklift basically attachment on the back of the track. So we got to somehow pick this thing up and drag it all the way back down to the shop without killing anything. But man, the old B&B, &B, I feel like we need to go. We, we, no, we don't need to do anything with B&B. That thing's got absolute infestation of all sorts of critters. We were, me and Kyle were talking about potentially destroying it and burying it and burning it. If you guys want to see that, you guys let me know. But this is, uh, this is her in all of her glory. Beautiful little pontoon. It's, we actually got a good work surface here. I think just cut some of them bolts off. We're, I don't know if we're thinking probably some plywood would be the best and just seal it all up, wrap it in some carpet. I mean, you could put a whole duck blind on this sucker and we could just go float down the freaking river and just shoot ducks off. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking bluegill in the summer, yep. ducks in the winter. You down for that? Yeah. All right, well, let's see if we can pick the sucker up. Oh, 
What could go wrong? Well, we got chained up. This is where we gotta bring back that OSHA approved merch. We're getting back into building stuff. OSHA approved, got some chains going, boards going, tractors, all the good stuff. Well, let's hopefully none of this breaks. Step number one, figure out where these leaks are. We've already done this once, but we got the air compressor hooked up. You hearing anything? I don't know. Oh, definitely one right here. I'm feeling air. You're feeling air? Oh, it's... Yeah? Or am I crazy? I can't tell. I hear... I, I can, I can hear, it. hear it. I definitely remember seeing something on one of these welds. Oh yeah, I'd say that's a problem. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's about the size of a quarter. That's a that one's a, that's a bad one there. I don't know how you fix that. You better trust that flex seal that much or not. You can feel that guy. Ooh, that's cold. Yeah, I'd say that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. That's a nice hole. Yeah, I remember we tried this last year. Was this last year or two years ago? What do you think it was? I think it was two. 2019. It was 2019. I'll say it was spring of 2019. Type in flare pontoon. Let's see how old we're, how, how old this is. June 22nd, 2019. So it had been post flood. For some reason, I thought we did it in the winter. June? Three months ago was when we started. Oh. And we, remember we held on to it forever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it would have been it would have been like two years April, ago. Yeah. Two, yeah, year, two years like, ago is when we started this. So you all you OGs watching, we brought it back. But yes, there's confirmed a uh, a big leak right in there. That's the one that I kept thinking of. I knew in my head there was a big one, so we got that one. And then the hole in the back. So I think the strat is try to weld it some ways. And then maybe you think, what, do you, what would you call it? It's not sand probably, but power brush it. Prep. Yeah, to get, to get rid of this stuff, I guess. And then paint it or let us know, bed liner maybe, or flux seal, or what are you thinking? What, what would be your- Googan green. Just, just lime really? green. For duck hunting with it though, that wouldn't be. We'll, we'll change it by then. Oh really? Yeah, so we're, I, I kind of like these waves though. I think we need to stay with that. I thought you said flames a second ago. Oh, flames. Who puts flames on a boat? Fa well, a fast boat, it's got flames on it. I feel like yeah, the flames I don't think this one's going fast. Really? What yeah, okay, what, what do you think motor strat is on this? 300. 250. 300 and 250. You, you buying? 99? Nine? Yeah, I don't know. Like, big nine nine if you threw a, big well, if you threw a tiller on it, you could just run it like this, right? Like, you put your gas tank up there. This is already, you, oh yeah, you could easily put a motor on that. And then just run it as a tiller. They make tillers with really long handles. So then you could just be ripping like that. I feel like that might be, but again, let us know what you guys thought down in the comment section down below. Sanded down ish enough to where we feel like I mean get the guy out of here But that side was the little bit rougher side So we went down kind of br wire brushed it chiseled stuff away like there was loose patches of the paint and fiberglass Got rid of that brush all that down. It's not gonna be perfect I mean if you really really want to do this right you would probably want to sandblast this thing or just completely get rid of everything and then Coat it but for what we're using it for we just gotta make sure the sucker don't sink and look and looks decent That's the goal So the next step is now since we've got most of it kind of brushed off all the loose excess paint is ready We are going to try to weld which I've never done before you know how to weld banjo. Nope. I say you give it a shot. So I mean I, not, I don't I feel like it's not as complicated as it's like you just clamp on something and you, you, you hit it with the thing and you wear a mask and it, it melts it Is that is that what happens? Can you make a big hole if you mess up? You just burn. Okay, so we're not. Oh, see, I've soldered before, which is different because you bring in metal and then melt it on top of it. That's that's more my my speed here. But Kai Dog, you're professional welder. Is that what you were saying earlier? Yeah. Kyle, Kyle knows how to weld enough enough to be dangerous. Okay, so and in this case, hopefully not actually dangerous because welding. Um, I guess welding a pipe like this that's filled with air, there has to be able for the air to get out because if it gets too hot it could explode so we, we took out the plugs out so we're going to try to give it a shot try to weld this is the first one the easier one and then the one on the back has a big hole in it that's going to be a little bit tougher so the goal today would be get it welded get it cleaned up take some measurements and figure out what materials we need to wrap this thing up and make it look good you guys stay tuned blinded by the light boys oh 
Oh, needs to be hotter. That was the, the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like from here, I've never like worn a mask and seen it. Everything's pitch black except for that. That was weird. You've never, you've never looked through one before? Not at a well. Oh, okay, yeah. Like I, I looked that. at the solar eclipse. Oh yeah, he fished, bought, he fished one whole day with dude, this. This thing works great for the solar eclipse, by the way. If really? that ever happens again, just get one of these. Screw yeah. those little 3D glasses. No, it's only supposed to happen like once in a lifetime. I thought. Rip. Yeah, that thing happens like, like every year. For the great, there's like for Banjo's great, great, great grandchildren. Yeah. All right, get one of these. Uh, and How you feeling about this? It's those? fascinating. I feel like I need to get one. I don't know what oh, I'd God. I don't know what I'd make, but I'd make something. I feel like we could just make like the weirdest things. Banjo, are you down? Who's what's her name? What are you looking at? I'm business. Okay, let's just show the What is that? Home. That's that's business for Buddy. Yeah. Break right off. So that'll just break? Yeah. Really? So how, do, how so how do people weld? I mean like Oh, I've never really used is this. This, a, this is just a before. different kind of welder. Yeah. Oh, we'll so get normally the, it's called we'll a get the stick welder. Out. Stick welder is gonna be out. better. Yeah, this it's. I could definitely see why people are like welding's harder. Like, it looks easier, right? It's like almost like putting like you know just glue it. It's like caulking yeah, it. Take a caulk gun and just run, run a bead. Just run a bead. It's not that hard, or it's not that easy. So to get it started, you just kind of scrape. You gotta kind of scrape it. Like if you if you touch it to it, it'll just stick and it'll like get stuck. Got it. Okay. So you gotta kind of lightly hold it up above, and you just gotta kind of scrape it along. Yep. And then just go back and forth and just kind of zzz, just the real tiny movements back and forth and okay. kind of work your way down the seam. Holy sh yeah. How'd that look? <laughs> A little fast. <laughs> not not exactly professional. No, you gotta go slower. You gotta go slower, okay. Yeah, and just kind of go back and Can forth. I go back, start yeah, at the beginning you, and go work yeah, back? You can. That was Pretty better. Yeah, yeah. So how does it matter how close the stick is to the metal? Yeah, like as it, you know, because it's going to stick down. Yeah. yeah. You know, so like, because I didn't know if I had to be like, are you supposed to be like pretty much right above it as close as you can without yeah. touching it, really? Yeah. So you think that'll? That's pretty good. That's deep. That's decent. First weld, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why you hire professionals to weld. I think I need to get better at it. I feel like it's like kind of a challenge. I'll sit there and I'll start watching welding videos now. You mean do the top can, there? Yeah. Just weld down top there. Oh, boy. You want to go down like down like that on well, it? Yeah, just kind of like. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch you do it. And if you can like balance yourself on something, so you got to like rest your elbow on something, it's easier. And then you just kind of go. Yeah, you can see the difference between mine and Kyle's. Yours looks good. No, I'm, it's I, not good. But which one's yeah. yours? A yeah, professional the one that looks like a turd. <laughs> wow. The, cr the crinkly one. Professional, the, mad respect to the professional welders out there. They make stuff look pretty good. Can you give him a shot or what? No. All right, well, let's awesome, get over. You're not try he, he's not trying. I haven't it? watched it at all. I've been. He's been buying toys. Well, I don't have the mask, so I gotta look that way. Ty better show us how to Yeah, Ty, let me see it. I'm yeah. good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm come good. Come on, come on. I'll hold the camera. I wanna see no, it. Yeah, good. You just get a little beat. Come on, come on, come no, on. I'm you were talking all about all No, about I said game. I suck at it. That's he why said, I'm good. He said he was a professional. Someone's no. gotta get in there. What are you two? You got it. Go ahead. There you go, man. I have no clue what I'm doing. Nah, you got it. You got it. Really? You can't be worse than me. Well, maybe. You might be able to be worse than me, but. Closer, closer. Tap, tap it again to get started. Keep right. okay. it down. Good it's enough. Good. <laughs> it's not. It's. I mean, it's definitely better than mine, honestly. Really? Yeah. You oh, just yeah. made a little mountain. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to like run off the table. So. Yeah, yeah. No, that was good. I think we've all deemed you as the yep. expert, and so you've that. got you've got the boat. I'm a terrible. Woman. I'll be I'll be the advisor. I'll watch. Big supervisor, yeah. Supervisor, I'll yeah. be ordering more toys. I want to figure out how to really? What's up, buddy? Where's the Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. 
Now I'm trying to fill the hole back in, so you gotta like do a little bit and stop, do a little bit. Well, the front one, the easy one, got it welded. So we think that's the only leak on this side because this this side was not underwater, it was out of water. The other side was one that was submerged, which obviously because it has a huge hole in the bottom. So that's gonna be the tougher weld, but this one got done. You got your toys on order? Yeah. Amazon Prime or what? Nah. Really? Bro. Custom. Custom. Custom? The bougie. Well, folks, it's the next day here. Well, uh, where we left off is what you guys saw. We got the front part welded. The back part, we're actually just going to shove a piece of metal up there with some JB welding call today. How are you feeling about it? Park pretty close to you. Yeah, you, you, uh, you're hugging that line there, buddy. I he was killing it. He like that's a nice, in my way. That's, like, a, that's a nice hoodie. That's oh, nice. yeah, it's a nice hoodie. That's a nice hoodie you got on there. Anyways, so we are here to get supplies now. Basically, we fixed. We think we fixed the leaks at least somewhat Um, to now where we now we need to go get the supplies. She had a problem? Or what was she looking at? Take a picture to last long, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was just staring. She's never seen one of these cameras, I guess. So we are here to get supplies. Um, pretty much everything from the paint to the wood to the decking, like at the carpet. Well, actually, I don't think we're doing carpet. We're doing like a roll-on sticky grip thing. So we're getting hopefully all of the supplies today. Um, and then hopefully go back to my house. And so we're gonna get plywood. We narrowed it down. If we get four sheets of plywood, we think that's gonna be enough. Probably get that looked at. <laughs> He's just staring at me. <laughs> Four sheets of plywood is what we're hoping for, but they're not gonna be waterproof, so we're gonna have to seal them. So the goal would be today to get at least the first coat of sealant on them today, and then hopefully tomorrow put a second coat on them, and then take them down to the farm and get them on there. So with that being said, we'll see you guys inside. Alrighty, folks, so we are in the paint section. We're thinking instead of doing carpet, we're gonna get something like this, which has like, we, it's like sand. Why, yeah, why we're paying three dollars for sand? I am not really sure, but that's basically what it is. You mix it in with the paint and you roll it on there, and it creates like a almost like a line X bed liner feel. And so that way we can just rip that. We don't have to worry about carpet because if we end up putting a duct blind on this thing, that carpet is just gonna get nasty anyways. But you don't want it to be just a slick paint finish because one, when it heats up, it's gonna get kind of gummy, and two, you can just slip right off and die. So this goes for a gallon, right? Is that what we're thinking? Yeah. Okay, so that's one gallon, two gallons. Two gallons. Four, five. Five. That's five gallons. For that's one five. coat, that should be plenty. Because we might use, it's only for the top. Mm -hmm. Let's just get that. It's only three bucks. There is one for seven. It's used all concrete. Well, we're not doing concrete, so I don't think we need to go that expensive. They also make paint that comes with it mixed in, but it's $30 per gallon, and we're probably gonna get, I would say a five gallon bucket would be enough. I mean, if we use more than half of that today, then we know to come back tomorrow because we're gonna have to let it sit overnight anyways. Um, so we need to get, that's concrete sealer. No, we, we just need some, I think it's rustoleum. I think is what you're, this is, yeah, we just need wood. This is all like concrete floor stuff. All right, so now we're gonna look for paint. I think we're gonna be, that's kind of interesting. You put those little, you, you wanna get bougie and put some flakes in it? That'd be kind of neat. Look at that, like a little camo action. Yeah, I like that. All right, so now we gotta look for some paint and then we gotta get, we do need to get paint. So what do you think? We were gonna go with brown for the top, brown for the wood, and then maybe a gray for the tune. So we gotta find both of those and we're also, yeah. We're also going to try to get a, like a commercial sprayer so we can spray the tunes. I don't think we're gonna spray the uh, plywood for the top, but the, the pontoons, I think we paint so much. I feel like we've got enough projects going. We could justify yeah, we, getting a nice sprayer. Yeah. The sprayers just, they just go so much faster. So, all right, well, let's find some paint. Well, folks, we're in a predicament here. So we ended up deciding no paint for the deck and do more of a sealant stain. That way it's not like sticky and we can still add that grit to it. But essentially you're gonna seal it up like you would your outside decking, um, which, I mean, I think it's gonna, it may not seal quite as good as paint, but it's, for some reason I just feel like the paint's just gonna get kind of tacky when it gets warm. So now we're, we got, we, well, we, we found what the stain we want and the guy's mixing up the color. We're getting like a brown color, but I want a paint sprayer. I'm tired of rolling around and doing it the old fashioned way. So we're looking at these, which I think these work for stain, at least. Yeah, like see, Buddy's getting it right there. Look at him, exterior siding fences. Imagine just spraying. I feel like that's so much easier, but the only thing I'm kind of worried about is, oh What's wrong? You see this? You can do a six by eight foot section in two minutes. Really? You're gonna be zooming. I say that's that means this should take us like Point six out. minutes. Yeah. No, like six minutes. Oh yeah. Because we're actually less than that. Mm -hmm. We're four by eight. But I'm I'm worried that it's gonna be too thin. I mean, we could always add more layers, but this is it's it's a thick 
coat. In order to really seal it, I feel like you're gonna need to go thick with it. So I'm not sure. I will talk to some of the employees here and see what they think about it. I mean, the thing about your deck is you're supposed to reseal it. So I mean, you could always just go over and reseal the, the pontoon. We wanna build it the right way the first time and not have to fix it. But I also don't wanna sit here all day long and sit here and roll on paint if we don't have. Plus we could use a sprayer for other projects. So we're, we'll ask somebody, I don't know what you guys think. Sprayer's a good idea, but if you really want that wood to be sealed up, we might need to roll. Maybe we do both. Maybe the first coat is just spray on and the second one we roll on, we're not really sure. But anyways, they're mixing it up right now. I think we're gonna try to get the painting stuff kind of finished. We also need to figure out what paint we're gonna use for the pontoon because we're gonna spray that as well. And then we've got to go over to the lumber and the hardware section to pick out the nuts and bolts and the screws and the lumber and all that fun stuff. So you guys stay tuned. Alrighty folks, we talked to the individual work here. He said that you can't pretty much use any paint besides latex paint in the sprayer, but then we looked up the sprayer and it says that you can. So I think this is what we bought. This is a uh, stain sealant, but it's six times thicker. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to use a sprayer for that, but for this, we should be able to. big woods here. Big, big so daddy. Smoke gray. So aluminum. Red, red, I mean, aluminum. Aluminum or light machine gray. I feel like making it look like a normal pontoon but would make like sense, aluminum. right? I feel like that would look good. Or you could do light machine gun gray so it's not quite as shiny. Yeah. Like, do you think like if we're duck hunting with it and they see the shine? Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. I didn't think about that, right? Yeah, you probably want something flat. So we're, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try using our sprayer for at least the pontoon spray. Maybe the wood stain. We're not sure if it'll jam that up or not, but we'll get rollers just in case. So it's smoke is gray. less shinier than that even. I would think so, yeah. Smoke gray. That's yeah, let's get let's get smoke gray. How Oil based. One? That's one gallon. Um one gallon or two gallons? How much do you think it's gonna I always bring one back, we don't use it. Okay, let's get two gallons just to be safe. So we're going with smoke gray for the pontoon color, and then the wood is going to be like uh it's kinda like a leather brown. It's like a dark brown color. So paint. I think we're good. We're gonna go grab a sprayer and we'll give it a shot. And then we gotta go get all the lumber and stuff like that. But I mean, so far we've been here for like an hour and a half and we just got the paint figured out, but we're making sure we're gonna do it the right way. I'm sure we'll still mess up somehow, but you guys have to let us know what you guys think about what we're doing. If we're doing it right, if we're doing it wrong, you guys let us know. Alrighty folks, well, we got the uh, bolts. We just ended up getting some carriage bolts, but we got marine grade panel, $78 a sheet. We need four of them. Can you believe that? We were about to drop like $300 on four sheets of freaking wood, but it's marine grade. So marine, this is not sealed though. I mean, I don't know I don't, what is what is marine grade because I thought marine grade would be waterproof. There's there's no sealing, I don't think, on this. It feels about as raw as raw, yeah. everything. But I mean, if you're gonna do it right, if you're gonna do it once, you just do it right the first time. Is that the saying? If you're gonna do something, do it right the first time? That's the saying. Sure. Something like that. So whatever, $300 for freaking wood, $160 for paint, Whatever, this is like a $2,000 freaking boat bill at this point, but it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be the bluegill barge, hopefully, and then maybe take a duck hang. So let's get four of these guys loaded up. Oh God, you ever get your ass by a piece of plywood? Shoo, that went right through my finger. That's what we got. How, how much you guessing this total is? In total? I bet 600 plus. I was gonna say five. Five, yeah, yeah. between five and six hundred. <sighs> Ridiculous, but for you guys, we gotta bring the pontoon back. We promised you we'd restore it. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So, see you guys back at the house. Shoo! Alrighty, folks. Well, we made it back home. Let's see. Where are you going? What's up? We made it back home. So we got some stuff unloaded already. We're gonna try doing one piece of plywood at a time. So we've got this guy set up here. And then once this one's painted, it needs to dry. We can maybe put on top of that bin or on top of the mule. And then I'm going to run that heater. Um, that's a huge propane heater. And then there's a fan there. So that way there's warm air circulating. I feel like that's gonna be better. So we're gonna try doing one at a time and one like the top and then flip it. And we're not sure, I mean, does this thing say it need, it's more than one, more than one coat? It says one coat coverage. So, I mean, if you've got people, it says low temp, 40 degree application. How cold do you think it is in here? It's probably pushing 40. We're getting close, yeah. We could run, I mean, we could shut the- Just shut the door? We could shut the door and turn that heater on now. I mean, yeah, you probably don't want any cooler in here for sure, but it says one coat. So I mean, if we're doing one coat, it's really not gonna take that long. So we, we, we are gonna roll this. This is not one we're gonna try to even spray. The spray gun is gonna be more for the pontoon, but this, I think, I mean, you're talking four sheets. It, it shouldn't take that long. Go on there. We've got a heater and the fan going. It really should dry fairly quick. So with that being said, let's get to painting. Shoo! We got the first.
first coat down, ladies and gentlemen. We got one, two, three, and four. And Lucy's eight and about half a gallon of paint. How does that make you feel, Lucy? Dope. So uh, first coat's down. We had this little heater going, but I've got the mega heater here that I'm going to hook up as well as run that industrial size fan just to get some movement. If we were really good at what we do, we would have all these set up in one area. But unfortunately, we have to spread them out. One's way over there, here, here. So some might dry faster than others. It says one coat, but I just, part of me don't believe that for what we're using it for being that this is the final coat, right? Like there's nothing that goes on top of this. There's no sealant. There's no carpet. There's nothing that I feel like you're going to need to go with two coats for something like this. I'm kind of looking at what it looks. I mean, it looks good. I really like the color for sure. I mean, it's, it's a good color, but this is all. So this is the bottom. So that's why we, we didn't add the sand stuff yet. So that way we can kind of see, you know, do we just want to roll one coat on the bottom? Maybe, maybe we do and do two on the top. Um, but essentially we got to get these things to kind of dry off, cure, see what we think. How waterproof is it? Do we want to add a second coat, let it dry? Because if we had a second coat, and let it dry, we're gonna have to do four coats in total, which is going to take like four days essentially. So that's going to be a little bit of a doozy. I'd like to get it done a little bit faster than that. Now we can go paint the pontoons. I think we might go look at doing that tomorrow and get the, get, get them sprayed off. Cause you might as well paint these, paint the pontoons, let them dry, paint the pontoon with second coat, paint these coat and let them dry that way. This project doesn't take us a week long. So with that being said, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back folks. It's the next day. We got all of the marine grade plywood painted, brought down, it's dried. Now we're gonna try to flip this thing over and seal up the holes. We found a couple more holes, so hopefully we can flip this thing over. We gotta fix that. And that is that a hole right here? Yeah. yeah. That hole right here. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So we've got more damage to this sucker than I expect. We brought some patch kits, but it's gonna take a lot, I think. A lot more than I originally anticipated. I didn't realize it was. Well, it's flipped over, and we're gonna need a lot of. Uh, we, luckily, we spent like 200 bucks on adhesive and flex tape and stuff and we gotta work some magic here to make sure this sucker doesn't just sink on us. Putting a lot of time, effort, and money into it. We gotta make sure it doesn't sink. But I mean that's you see two holes that's the problem. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's so the big far. one there. Yeah. My air tester, yeah, I was coming out of that and obviously that obviously the baseball size one. Alright well let's go ahead and we'll grab all the stuff and see what we can do. Alrighty folks so what we got is we got some flex seal. What else we got? Some bed liner. Bed liner. So this is going to be our finishing touch. We might not use it today, but this is going to be what we finish it to give it like gritty texture. We also have flex, flex tape, two different kinds of flex tape. Um, we've got some goop, uh, marine grade adhesive. We got some patches, flex some JV paste. Weld, never seen this. flex paste, oh, and the bed more bed liner stuff. stuff. And then we also got some foam um, to maybe be able to fill like on the inside of it. I don't know if we're even going to use this, but we thought maybe if there's a, a like a hole on the side, you could fill it up with this. So, I mean, you can see we got a bunch of stuff. So I think we're going to start, we're going to take the flex seal and run it where the holes are not. So as you can see the holes, we got holes here and then like this needs a lot. And then there's a big hole over there. So Kyle's actually cutting a piece of metal right now to fill that one. But right now we feel like we just need to soak this in flex seal to make sure that this doesn't have any more little holes that we can't see and then finish it with the bed liner and then we'll paint everything. And so like that triple layer effect, I think is going to be what we need. So anyways, you guys enjoy. Wow, 
Oh, I had a big business meeting. I had to go for banjo shot for the day. Yeah, you did. You killed it. So uh, we got this sprayed. We probably should go over it again with some more stuff, but we we're trying to bring some structural integrity to this thing and make it to where like you know. Well, I just scraped that off of that. It's, it's got to take. Still, it's still it's still got to dry. Oh, Forty-eight hours. Uh, Oh, that's yeah, a long time. So here, we're gonna try to patch this hole here. Now, ideally, if we had a bigger piece of metal, it'd probably be better, but I think just JB weld that on there, smear a bunch of JB, which is this stuff, okay? It's marine weld. You ever used that? J not, I have used JB weld, but it's been like a long time. Gotcha. When I used to like work on all my little John boots and stuff, yeah. I always have holes in that thing. Big John boat guy. I love the old Johnny. We're gonna try to patch this thing up and then it's gonna have to cure, and that's what we can't do much after today as far as this goes, but then we can start working on some other stuff. Like we can, we could wrap that one down there and retape it yeah. and stuff like that. So we got some tape. So I think this is the first, this is just gonna cover the majority of the hole. It's just a little piece of scrap metal. So let's see how this thing works. Oh, hey, how's oh, it is going? It coming out? Oh. Really? I'm trying to figure out where to put it. Other options, we have that flex paste too, if we wanna put that in here too. Okay, yeah, we can smear, we can smear it on top. What do you think about that? It's a lot of goop. Yeah. You like that? I don't know if that's gonna stay. And then I gotta fill this hole. You right hold here. It? This is what we're relying on not sinking, by the way, in case you're curious. I don't think this is gonna work. If this works, I'll be surprised. We, I mean, we're at least a grand into this, for sure. Yeah. We spent what, eight just on paint? Yeah, I heard you <laughs> spent a lot on, on wood, too. It wasn't cheap. Oh, the, like, the wood, wood, wood and paint. The wood was like 250 bucks total. Not including right. paint. Oh, oh, we're over a grand. We're probably fifteen hundred now. But that's ain't worth hit, that, hit that like button, I guess. That really? don't really pay me. That don't make you. Go much. ahead, hit it. It's free. All righty, folks. Well, we got this. I guess figured out this part right here. It's staying now. Look at this. Oh, that's still wet. So, I mean, we're gonna leave that. That was an entire thing of marine weld. Let that dry overnight. Moving back to the back here. We've got some, well, actually we're doing putty first, which we've never paste. used paste, putty, putty, putty paste. So here is, this is the whole original hole. Kyle, he actually like sealed this up for us. And so now it's actually dry, you can work with it. This is actually good stuff. But as you can see, there's a divot right there. So we're gonna try to take that paste putty and flatten it out. So that way you've got a good surface. Let that cure and then take the tape tomorrow and tape that off like that. So give it a slap. It's supposed to dry in like 15 minutes. Oh, so. maybe we can do it. Oh, okay. But it takes a while to cure. So oh. I don't know if it'd be bad to like go over it. Yeah, you probably want to let it cure before you cover it up, gotcha. I would assume. But this is, this oh, stuff oh, might work. I've only, we could get sponsored by these guys. Cause I feel, like, I feel like, I feel like I would keep, keep her going. 24 to 48 hours to cure. Oh, okay. Well, we'll be back so tomorrow one to then. Two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff there. Yep, yep. And then do you want to use that stuff for the other hole and just start with that and just leave it? Sure. Instead of putting a piece of metal on it. Oh yeah. That looks good. See, oh yeah, see, I like that. I feel like that, there's no way this sucker's leaking, right? Like you're not even getting down to the JB. Like it's no, gonna, this is gonna seal. Yeah, it. and so we're gonna have so the first layer's well, piece of metal, then JB, and then flex paste, then flex tape, then flex seal, then bed liner, and then paint. There ain't no. I way. mean, if it leaks, I give up. I yeah, I'm not sure what to do. You with think that that's point. pretty flat? Do you want a little more? No, I think here, here, I'll give you this. Let's let's give this a, a whack. That stuff seems like it's gonna be like rubber. Yeah, it's, I think it's gonna dry like just straight up rubber. You ever done pottery? Uh, I mean, I've made some pinch pots in my day. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. When? School. School. Uh, the, you the, went to school? The few years I went to school, yeah, I made some freaking pinch pots. You seem so excited okay. about it. I never have. You, you never, never made pottery? Pinch pots? I don't know what that is. A pinch pot? Is that where you like put your hands you take in? A, like, no, you take a ball of mud and you just put your thumbs in it and just like pinch it and it yeah. makes like a cup. My private school didn't have that. Really? I barely had Spanish class. He's, he's bougie. He had to go. He wore a uniform. I did. This guy. You should bring the uniform back for a I, vlog. I still probably have it. <laughs> I say I wear a full suit. Really? We got suits. You know, we got matching suits. I was gonna say I bought you a suit. You did. Nice guy. Because he's a big business guy. Oh really? Yeah. Big marriage guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's banjo soon. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So here's the other hole here. So we're just gonna, I feel like this is a commercial. Just cover it up and you're sealed for life. You know, one of them does. Nice the accent. Yeah, I'm not sure that came from. Really, really yeah. sells the product. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I'd get it all in that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just fill all of this in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, this is That's like, a, what is yeah. that? That's some thick. There's something in there. This is. Dude, what is that? There, I think it was just the, that was like the outside dried, dried yeah. up, it was dry. The crusty rim or what? Yeah, yeah, I hate when that happens. There we go. This is literally just liquid rubber, look at that. Watch this like erode rust, then just like rust. Just like a big like hole it's, it's not come made, back. It's, yeah, it's not made for this, it just straight up erodes it. What was the word that you were making up the other day? Fossilfied? Fossilfied. It was fossilized. <laughs> I said fossilfied. <laughs> All right, paste is complete. So now, what do we got left to do? Nothing. Spray it. This. Spray and pray. Yeah, so we're at it. You guys used all that. Rip. We got this. All right, let's get spraying.
Alrighty folks, well we got everything sprayed up, putty is drying, that's drying, the back putty is drying as well, we're gonna come back tomorrow, but we're gonna end this video today just so we can get it up, it's been like four or five days of this, part one is complete, part two is going to be finishing up the patches, being like this one, once everything is cured and dried, we're gonna put a bunch of flex tape over the top of it, and then go over that again with either flex spray, or paste, or some type of bed liner, the bed liner I'm hoping, we're not sure what it is really gonna end up like, because we haven't been here long enough to see it dry, but ideally it should be like a gritty, like coating where it's kind of like an outer shell so the idea is you kind of protect anything from poking through to that to that soft putty the soft putty creates the watertight seal but then hopefully that bed liner will kind of make a crust to where like rocks can't just like poke through the putty if that makes sense so the next episode you see we are going to finish sealing it we're gonna flip it we're gonna paint everything we're gonna bring the boards that you guys saw us paint we're gonna screw those down we're gonna mount a motor and we are gonna take it out and see if it floats so episode two will be epic for you guys to enjoy. So with that being said, stay tuned till the next episode. We'll catch you guys on the next one and peace.